Hi everybody, this is a short and simple video about a trick how you can get better format from Volatility Free tool. Uh, first of all, uh, I will copy the path to my memory dump. I will be using a variable to, the, to this path in PowerShell. Let's jump to Volatility Free folder, run PowerShell from this folder. and set our environment set our variable mem dump uh, and pq our path to memory dump okay uh, most of you guys who already work with volatility pre you know that some uh, uh, plugin outputs are quite messy and uh, chatty and it's quite uh, difficult to read the output so I will show you how you can benefit from the PowerShell and uh, produce better for, uh, output format first of all we will print uh, help okay and uh, the magic is here that you can specify the render option and you, we can we will be using the csv so we will produce output in csv format and uh, we will uh, process it with powershell if you want to print only uh, windows plugins so just do it like this uh, pipe and uh, select string and only uh, windows dot and simple match without regular expression and you will get only the windows plugin nice uh, the most used probably plugin is uh, specify f as a file path uh, our variable and most used is probably ps list so if you use ps list you see something like this and I'm not satisfied with this output. It's quite a good, yeah, but uh, you can see here is something strange, bad, quite bad formatting, bad formatting. So if you want to change it and make it nicer, you can do it quite easily uh, with a render option. You can do it here, R and CSV and pipe it. Pipe it to uh, convert from CSV delimiter is comma and format format table uh, all properties auto size and what you got here is quite better nicer. You can see that uh, volatility produce some other property here so called tree that it's quite a useful when you have a uh, process tree when you are using process tree plugin but uh, we don't need it here so if you want to exclude uh, some uh, property you can do it quite easily you can add a pipe here and do something like select object uh, property all exclude property and tree that again and you can see that the property tree that is excluded you can do it with all kind of properties it's quite nice it's quite usable with some simply plugins which uh, produce uh, not so large output not so large lines but if you do it with something like uh, with some plugin like for example virtual address descriptor info it can't help you much you can see it, that it's uh, too large it produces too large lines and other stuff so wait sorry if you change the plugin you will see something like this you can specify also pit uh, so we are we want to do virtual address descriptor info will print uh, all information about memory ranges in our specified process or in all processes but i am interested for example only in this process id 
and okay but you will see that it's too large so what do you want to do next what do you what you can do next uh, it's quite simply we don't we will not use a format table but we will use old grid view and I really like love, love this option because what you got here is very very nice see better better far better and what is very interesting if you don't specify the bit for example here the filtering option in grid view is absolutely phenomenal check that you can see that it will uh, run the grid view and uh, here are adding some more values because the piping is working like value 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 processing each value so it's still running still running basically you get a uh, virtual address descriptor the info about memory ranges uh, from all processes running in our memory dump yep it's still running and it's done and what you can do now it's really, really nice to have this option the outgrid view option you can filter yeah you can for example filter process id when we uh, specified before uh, 3152 you can do it the same way here process id add and 3152 and you have only the virtual address descriptor info from 3152 process id nice but uh, if you want to check or if you want to see only dlls uh you can do it like this uh, add a file and specify here dot dll and you have all dlls in a memory range of our interested specified process id nice and you can basically do the same for the process list as i already show you here is the process uh, ps list but if you specify only uh, out grid view what you got here is something better it's not needed because it's a virtual setting so there is there are no many processes but if you do it for windows 10 you will really appreciate it nice and that's all that's far better because if you check uh, if you check uh, the virtual address descriptor info without this so something like this no rendering csv and only bit 3152 you will get uh, something uh, <laughs> what is really hard to read or interpret in some quite an uh, understandable way so i really recommend to pipe it and uh, output it as a grid view as you already saw like this it's a uh, better nicer and you will get more uh, better understanding what is going on here you can you can filter whatever you want you can do whatever you want and that's all that's all thank you for watching and uh, more tips and tricks will be uh, released very soon because i'm preparing uh, this course uh, it's called advanced memory forensic for windows operation system uh, covering thread hunting and initial marrow analysis so stay tuned because it will be very large and i hope you will uh, find it interesting